Hello guys, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to see how to fix cannot extend C drive with unlocated space or extend its gray out issue in Windows 11 or Windows 10 PC or laptop. We are not using any external software or app. We use only the disk management and our CMD and we solve this simple problem. So let's go to the, our video. First, I go to the disk management and see the our problem. I go to the start, right click on the start. Here we find disk management or click on the start, type disk management and here we find create and format hard disk partition. Click on that create and format hard disk partition. Both are same. First, here is the our disk. If you have multiple hard disks, then it show multiple hard disks. In this case, I have only one hard disk. This is the, our hard disk and here is the disk number zero. Okay. And here we find Cedar. I go to the here and here we find unlocated 200 GB space. Okay. Here we find the C drive. I go to the C drive, right click on it. And here we find extend volume is gray out. This is the, our problem. Problem is C drive and unlocated space. And here we find D drive. D drive is between this unlocated space and C drive and also healthy recovery partition or the recovery partition is also between the C and unlocated space. First, delete this recovery partition, get a backup of this recovery partition and delete it. And after that, also delete backup of, give the backup of the, make a backup of the D drive and delete the D drive. And after that, merge this unlocated space with the C drive and create a healthy recovery partition. This is the our goal and we are going to the upper goal now. Go to start, close it and go to the start, type CMT, right click on the command prompt, click on run as an administrator, click on the run as an administrator. It is an IMP, click on the yes, center it. After that, first command is reagent, reagents, space, black slash, disable, and hit enter key. Wait for a few seconds. Okay, command is successful. Next command is this part and hit enter. Okay, this part is open. Now we are going to list it. It show uh, all hard disks on our PC. Here we find, in my case, I have only one hard disk. Okay, after that select disk. It select disk and the give the number that you want to select. In this case, I want to select zero number. Hit enter key. Now our disk is select. Now list partition. It show all partition. Okay, it show all partition. The IMP partition for is this partition. This partition is fifth number and here we find recovery. And this is the MB size. It is in MB size. It is in a very small size. And here we find the our partition. And we are going to the this partition or select this partition. So I type select then the partition and after that the number of the partition whatever the number of this partition to that number in this case this is the recovery and this is the partition number so I type 5 now partition 5 is selected now go to the detail partition and hit enter key it's showing all details of this partition. We need this type and the attribute idle. Select this, Control C on your keyboard, go to the notepad and paste it. Control V on your keyboard, this attribute and this type is IMP. Okay, next step is we are going to the our next command. Our next command is the delete the partition. Delete. Type delete the partition space override. Override and hit enter key. Now it is successfully delete. I go to the disk management. Now here we not find our recovery partition. Close it. Now I go to the disk management. create a format hard disk partition and here we find the our unlocated space 
and here we find the C drive. What one problem? Here is the D drive and it is in between the unlocated space and C drive. I go to the C drive. Here we find extend value. If extend C drive and unlocated space at this point, then there is no problem, but it is in D drive. Okay. So we also go to the work this computer, this PC. I go to the D drive. If any data in D drive, make make a backup of that data. If any data, then copy it or cut it and go to the anywhere and paste that data, paste that data. Oh, okay. And after that, I want to delete also the upward D value. So I go to the here D, right click on it and click on this delete value. Click on this delete value, click on the yes. Now we find C drive and D drive and there is no any drive between them that is very IMP right click on it and here we find extend volume is now showing extend volume is showing click on extend volume click on the next here we find the available available space I give the entire space to the C drive I click on the next click on the finish now here we find the C drive next step is I want to give some space for the our partition our uh, partition so I go to the this C drive right click on it and click on the shrink value I go to the shrink value in a shrink value I want to shrink 1024 it is absorbed approximately 1 GB I click on the shrink now here we find unlocated space now go to the here unlocated space right click on it click on new sample value click on next give any number that you want I give entire space and click on the next view the drive letter any drive letter that you want click on the next next finish now once again go to the cmd once again go to the cmd in a disk part type list partition hit enter key and here we find the our list partition here we find the our primary partition and it is an approximately 1 GB this is an 1 GB and I want to create this partition to the our recovery partition that is very ID uh, th that is very simple first uh, first command is the select the our partition select the partition select partition and the partition number I want to select this four number partition it is an 1024 4 MB it is an approximately 1 GB and Q number 4 in this case Q the your partition number now we want to set ID so I type set ID equal sign and after that I go to the my notepad and copy this ID from here to here and copy it or control C on our keyboard go to the here and control V and hit enter key on your keyboard okay it is then successful next option is GPT space attributes space equal sign Then attributes. This is the our attributes. Copy it, select it, and copy it. Control C on your keyboard. Go there, control B and hit enter key. Okay, it is unsuccessful. Next is the list volume. Okay, now here we find this is the our volume 2, and here we find it is an new volume of the D and it is showing the letters and we want to remove the drive letters first we select the volume D now it is selected now remove the drive letter remove the drive letter. we want to remove the drive letter from the our 1 GB partition that is very simple remove and I want to remove drive letter equal to D. 
or mounting point now exit next step is re agent regions enable backslash close the upper control uh, cmd go to the start tix management click on the here center it and here we find the upper healthy partition and here we find the data and if you want to create a d drive then right click on it click on shrink value queue the number that you want i approximately queue 2 tb or 10 tb 10 gb sorry click on shrink here is the unlocated space right click on it click on new sample value click on next queue any number and queue any letter that you want i q t you can queue d g e f click on next click on finish next 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 and click on finish now go to the our this pc and here we find the our newly created drive okay and here we find the c drive our second drive g d that you want and after here we find the our recovery partition so guys this is the simplest way to solve this simple problem without using any software or app in windows 10 or windows 11 so guys thank you for watching this video don't forget to like share comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you guys